Well, if you've driven around Sioux Falls lately, no one has to tell you that one sure sign of just how hard winter can be in Kelloland is the drive around your town. Well, hit one pothole, and there's another bound to be one right around the corner. Uh, the good news is you don't have to wait until spring to smooth out your daily commute. Galen Huber with the City of Sioux Falls is here today to tell us why now is the perfect time to call on the city's pothole patrol. Is that what they're called? The yeah, pothole patrol? We get called lots of things. I'm that's sure. that's good. Yeah. Welcome to Kelloland Land Living today. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. What's your, you tell us your title and your role with the city. Gabe. I'm the street manager. We've, you know, I've had a couple different titles, but through some reorganization now, we've, we've got it down to just the street manager. So take care of uh, the street as far as snow removal and potholes during the winter. And uh, uh, I'm to blame for some of the cones during the summertime that you have to detour nice. around as far as construction goes. So. And you've been in this role for a while. I've been here 12 years with the public works. I've been with the city for over 22 right yeah. now. So you know what's going on and this is how this all works, why this happens and whatnot. So explain again how the pothole appears. Okay. Um, what happens is in any place within the snow belt, you get warming weather during the winter and you get cold weather. And so during the day, typically, if we get warm weather, the snow melts, it, it turns into a liquid, and that liquid will sit and pool on the street. And it gets the opportunity to get down into a little bit of a crack in the, in the asphalt or the concrete. At night, when it freezes, it expands and it starts pushing on it. And uh, eventually, it will push itself out and create the pothole. So that's basically the, the, the just behind the pothole. Water gets down, it freezes, expands, and blows the, the area out. Is it just my imagination that these things seem to appear overnight? Well, and that's what happens. You know, the, the freeze-thaw cycle, at night it gets really cold, and that's when they start pushing them. And certainly we've seen it where it was driving good the day before, and, and when we went home that night, the next morning, all of a sudden, you see a chunk of the asphalt that's popped up. So, yeah, it does. they do appear overnight. So the weather hasn't helped this year because we've kind of had, you know, warm weeks in January, then it gets really cold, then it warms up again. So it's got to be disastrous. Well, the, actually, November and December were pretty good for us because we didn't have a lot of moisture. True. And yeah. so it was cold, but we didn't get a lot of moisture. So we, there wasn't anything getting down underneath the, uh, the asphalt or the concrete to really to, to push on it. Um, so we had a fairly decent November, December. Now with the moisture that we've had in January, we're starting to see more of those come along. And, and we're getting these, these shots of snow now. Uh, three times here this week, we're going to get shots of snow that can turn into liquid. Of course, that's what we do is we turn the snow to liquid so the streets are safe. And then that stuff gets into a, a crack in the road and freezes at night, and, we, and we'll have a pothole tomorrow. So then add the snow to it then, and now you've got to plow the streets. That, doesn't, uh, that can't help the process either. Well, usually what happens is we're putting down pressure on the, on the, uh, on the, with our blades onto the street. And if there's any type of flaw in the road, we'll pick it up with the, with the uh, motor grader blade, and we'll, we'll pop it out. So uh, we add to our work a little bit. But right after we get done clearing the street, I always usually have one to three. Sometimes we have up to five crews running a day uh, to try to get the material back into the hole. So when can you start fixing the potholes? Is it too cold now, especially this week? Or? No, they have material that you use during the, during the winter months. And we've actually found one over the last couple of years that works really well. Typically, we always talk about winter asphalt material is kind of a temporary solution, but we've actually found one that works really well. It's uh, a product that can go into a wet hole. Ideally, what you want to do is when you fix a pothole is you want to have it dry, you tack it, and then you put the material in it. So the tack helps keep the, the material in the, in the, uh, adhere to the road, and then you compact it. And if you don't do that, you're going to get moisture down underneath that's mm -hmm. going to pop out. And typically during the winter, you don't get a dry hole. So mm -hmm. you're out there with a, a, a leaf blower and you're trying to dry it out. But with this material, you can actually put it in wet. And it, we've actually dumped it into pooled water. In fact, they tell you, the, the manufacturer tells you that if the hole is dry, you need to add a little bit of water to it. And mm. there's, a, there's a, a proprietary ingredient that they put in it that actually helps it to bind with the water and firms it up so it stays in the hole a lot better. So we've been using that here this winter, and it's been, it's, it's, I always call a pot like a dog chasing his tail. You, you do it. And then you have to go back, and you have to go back, and you have to go back. Well, with this material we put it in, it's been staying in all winter long. So we're pretty happy with that. And so is this just the beginning of pothole season, or is there going to get, do you, do you see it getting worse then as spring happens? Well, I think as we get into, the, the, the most snow we get is in the month of March. And typically you can get really cold weather still in March, and it starts warming up. You get these really drastic swings. You get 
cold weather, and then you can get 60 degrees. So you can get a lot of water flowing mm -hmm. in, the, in that month. So right now, I'd say through all the through the entire month of March and April, we'll probably be seeing potholes out there. But again, we're trying to fix those as quickly as possible. The best thing I can do is do in, during the summer months is do my preventative maintenance. If I can somehow seal that road up to keep the water from getting down, it just pools and stays on top. It's not going to do anything. If it pools and gets down, that's mm -hmm. when it's going to do the damage. So ca how can people report if they find a pothole? Is, it, there's, is there a size limitation? If I mean, it's like, well, you're not going to fix it until it gets a little bit bigger, or how can they, people do that? They can call us anytime they see an issue with the road. They can call us. The, we have a pothole hotline, 367-8002. We have, during the winter months here from November all the way through March, you can call our office, and we have people working 24 hours a day, even on holidays. That's 367-8255. Or they can go on to siouxfalls.org backslash pothole. There's a form there you can fill out, send to us. And we can actually, um, what we've done now, technology is really the big key for us. In the past, what we do is we get these calls, you put them on a piece of paper, the crews go take the papers in the morning, run out. Now with technology, you call in a pothole and we plot it right onto the computer and within seconds it populates on an iPad that's in the crew's uh, pickup mm. and they can go directly to mm. it. And for us, that if you called, if they're working on a pothole right in front of Kello and a block away there's another one gets called in, it populates, they can just go right over yeah. there and do it. So we're a little bit more efficient in, in getting them fixed sooner. Good info. Thanks, Galen. Yeah, that was really good info. We probably could talk 20 more minutes on this, so <laughs> thank you. Yeah, if you've got a bumpier than usual route to wherever you're headed in Sioux Falls, the city does want to know about it. And as Galen said, you can call the Pothole Patrol at 367-8002 or go online to SiouxFalls.org slash pothole. Coming up, we're going to tell you about an event that has, been, that has you ditching your warm car for some fresh air. Stay with us.